video I want to talk about some of the books that have really influenced my career and my journey through computer science and then into games development. So a lot of students always ask me how I got to where I am, what they should be reading. And well, I want to share with you what I was reading and how I got to the point. So let's begin with my first favorite book. And it was this one. So in my first year at university, I learnt to program in C. Before then, I'd been teaching myself how to do basic. Now, don't laugh because remember this was quite a while ago. I'm not going to reveal how many years, but it was. And basic was pretty much all I had access to until I learned about doing C. So this book by Cochan was the Bible for programming in C. And... Seriously, I just loved it. So I keep coming back to it all the time. There's great little exercises in here. Um, it's really not outdated, I guess, if you're wanting to learn C. C, I thought, was, you know, the, the basic coding language. It's a procedural programming language. It's uh, a little more difficult than C Sharp. C Sharp kind of hides an awful lot of things. And what C really does teach you, and C++ as well, is memory management. And memory management in the computer is just absolutely fundamental to get your head around of what's going on. And, you know, I thought that C, like, really does it for you. It really reveals all of that for you. So, anyway, that was my favourite book in first year university. Now, um, I moved on after I finished university, and, of course, there's an awful lot of books that I went through at university, but then I really got into computer graphics and uh, artificial intelligence when I went into my fourth year. And artificial intelligence was something we kind of touched on in my undergraduate, but we didn't do a really good look at it and comprehensive look at it until like fourth year. So this book here was the absolute Bible, artificial intelligence, and I said it says a modern approach which probably sounds a little bit funny because it's probably about 20 years old, this book, but it has all the fundamentals in it uh, and from a computer science point of view. So definitely not even from games. I mean, you can even see all the little markers and bits of stuff I had in there from all that time ago uh, when I was studying this book. So something like this, which has a real theoretical mathematical basis that explains artificial intelligence, completely outside of the games realm but in a more uh, general overview is a really good idea to have so that was another one now I learnt computer graphics and OpenGL when I went to uh, my fourth year at university and that was just fantastic uh, if you can hear at the moment that's rain that's just started so I apologize if you can hear all that extra noise on the roof here um, so computer graphics was this was um, this was actually not my computer graphics textbook, but this is a really great textbook if you want to get into computer graphics and learn OpenGL. Doing that actually gives you a much better insight of what's going on in games as far as the rendering and the lighting and all of the mathematics that's going on around building the game environment. 3D, which is not really 3D, is it? Because it's projected onto a 2D screen. Uh, but this is absolutely fantastic. So the book that I did use, and I will show you that because it's quite impressive, this was the one that we had in my class. Okay, so look how thick that is. Now, this was, uh, well, you know, really lacking in a lot of colour and pictures, and there's just so many algorithms and math and, and stuff in here but this is also very good from a theoretical point of view so that was my textbook and then later on when I went to do more OpenGL program I actually started making things this was the one and so you can still get the latest edition of computer graphics with OpenGL from um, the author Hill and I think it's even the son of Hill who has continued on in these books so this is really really good now um, Moving on, when I did my PhD, I did that on the emotions of artificial intelligence for games characters, which was quite an interesting field at the time. And it really looks at human reasoning and how human reasoning is affected 
um, by emotion. So this book is, was an absolute classic and brilliant. Now, again, this has nothing to do with games development either. It's called The Ghost in the Machine. And you can see, again, all my little bookmarks in there from when I was using it. Um, this is really insightful if you're interested in artificial intelligence from the behavioral aspect for game characters. So it really looks at how humans reason and how emotion affects that. And it's also, if you're really into sort of the AI um, goal setting, uh, finite state machine kind of stuff, this is really brilliant because it breaks down all human behavior into um, the mechanics of it, which is what we see coming through into games. Now, games sort of became quite big as an area of study after I'd left university, but I was tutoring and teaching at the time. And so the only book on my list of favorite books that I'm showing you today that's actually focused on games is this one. It's called A Theory of Fun. And it's about game design, but it talks about what fun is and how things are made into fun, because it's very difficult from a beginner point of view to think, well, are these game mechanics going to be fun? I mean, what is fun? And that's what games are all about, having fun and challenges and things. Uh, so this is just a brilliant reference if you're wanting to get into game design. If you're starting out, I would definitely recommend you get yourself a copy of this and read through it. It's not technical whatsoever. Uh, it's just all um, philosophical and discussions and examples and it's it just makes you sort of think about how your mechanics are going to influence your players and whether or not they're going to be fun or not and whether they're going to be engaging. All right, so that's my list of books and I hope you've enjoyed seeing those um, and that it does show you that you, if you want to study games, you don't have to have a book that's primarily on games because there's so many different things that surround the games domain that make it up. And sometimes going back to first principles of the theory behind where this stuff came from, like the especially artificial intelligence and the computer graphics for me. I mean, this stuff existed before games were developed. And so there's an awful lot of background research that you can do before you even move in to the game's realm as far as understanding all of that. Okay, so um, hope you enjoyed that again and good luck with your learning journey as you want to discover more about game development. Thanks for watching. Please support the development of more superb online learning content by subscribing. And as always, visit holistic3d.com to learn more about awesome games development books and tutorials.